or to keep them dancing. Do you know what I mean? Football is different. Football is more of a team game. Of course, you've got to put in your 100% in um, on the pitch. But at the same time, you can a teammate can bail you out, not in DJing. There's <laughs> so much pressure in, in DJing. So. <laughs> Back again with another episode. I'm your host, Jordan Antonio Brown, and today we have with me a special guest on uh, career after football. Another episode of that. Uh, this is someone I've known for many years. Um, you know, looked up to him. Used to play with his brother. Uh, we were the same age, same year group at Arsenal, and his brother was older, doing his thing. Um, also, at the time. The youngest ever player to play for South End United. I don't, I don't know if you still have that record or not. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> still, still, have still got it. Still got the record. Um, today I have with me Femi Orinuga, also known as DJ Femstar. How you doing, bro? Thanks, bro. Thanks for the intro. I'm good, man. You both? Yeah, all good, man. All good. Yeah, man. Haven't spoken to you in a while, so just going to chop it up. Um, just talk to me. I was coming, I was, I was on Instagram, scrolling as you do, and I see Femi. Femi's the DJ. I was like, raw, I swear that's sick. Obviously, um, now, you know, lockdown, it must be kind of hard as, uh, you know, you're probably missing out on a lot of gigs, but just uh, take me through, like, your passion for DJing and how it started. Yeah, so <clears throat> I've always had a uh, passion for music. I've always loved music. Obviously, um, that we have so many seven of us, so what, six? I'm the second youngest. So I've grown up listening to their music, you know, when I was young and just always enjoyed it. We enjoyed different genres, different artists from reggae to garage to Afro beef, R and B, old school R and B, all of that. Um so even when I was playing professionally, I was still, you know, listening to and and paying attention to to music. Um so yeah, that's that's how it kind of like that's that's, that's how it grew. That's how it um, for for the people who don't know, uh, what what kind of what kind of training do you have to have for that? Training, oh man! So I was self-taught. I, I literally, I, I, I've learnt myself. Um, I started off with my phone, so I had a mobile phone. I used to literally, um, I downloaded an app called DJ Pro um, on my phone, and I just started um, like putting music on my phone. But I wasn't really DJing like that. I was just, I liked to increase the tempo of, of certain songs, you know, like speed up a little bit. So that's what I was doing, literally just speeding up some, some of my songs that I had on my phone. And then um, just one day I was just bored and I actually wanted to learn how to like DJ. So I was just doing it. I was doing it through the app and I became good at it. Um, I remember I was always like asking people, oh, let me DJ, let me DJ. And like, DJ? You're a footballer, how do you want to DJ in my party? Like, not a, a massive party, like one of them house parties or something. Whenever I got um, invited to. Um, and then, yeah, that's how it kind of started through my phone. Got myself a laptop, the decks, speakers, all of that, and just started literally practicing properly. Um, and then just became like good at it. I pop properly mastered it. Whoa. Two questions on that. What is easier uh, training? Because as I said before, you know, there's different ways to introduce yourself into uh, DJing, but um, you know, with football, there's pretty much one way where you go outside, you go practice, practice, practice. Is that the same with DJing? You just yeah, I think so. I think with everything, with everything you do, whether it's DJing, football, teaching, 
you've got to practice, you know, if you definitely, if you want to be at a certain level as well, um, I think practicing is key in whatever industry that you're in. But um, what was the question? What's easier? Yeah, yeah, like what's easier to practice for? Like what, what can you, like is football easier to master compared to DJ and what, what's more easier to okay. practice for, you know? Yeah, good questions. I think it's just two different techniques. So, um, that like football, as you know, it's more labour and it's more <clears throat> um, work ethic. Um, and DJing is more technical, you know. But um, mentally, if you want to look at the mental aspects, like as a, as a DJ, you've got to be able to hold a crowd, you know. And at times, you, you've got a stubborn crowd. Um, and it's like pressure on you to, to, to either get them dancing or to keep them dancing. Do you know what I mean? Football is different. Football is more of a team game. Of course, you've got to put in your 100% in um, on the pitch. But at the same time, you can a teammate can bail you out, not in DJing. There's <laughs> so much pressure in, in DJing. So, yeah. Yes. Um, it, it, both have their pros and cons, I suppose. But I'll say pressure-wise, pressure-wise, I'll say DJing, I'll say DJing, there's more pressure in DJing than football because football is just like, I was born and bred to do football. Like, I, I can handle pressure in football. Yeah, that's, I mean? that's, that's, that's the question I was going to ask. The, the question I was going to ask next was going to be uh, thousands of, you know, fans, you know, maybe giving you abuse, maybe cheering you on in football or thousands of people in the party, hundreds of people in the party. And, you know, you, like you said, you've got to hold the crowd. What's, what's, you said mm. more pressure DJing, yeah? Yeah, I think DJing, obviously it's more intimate. The crowd is more intimate because there's less of people. Um, and it's like, they're so close to you. It's more intimate. When you're playing in front of thousands of, 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 of people, it's not as, I know it might sound a bit weird, but it's not as, um, as pressuring yeah there's so many people but at the same time you can't even see their faces when you're DJing you can see everyone's faces you know so yeah, yeah definitely yeah. I think probably more pressuring um, DJing than, than playing football uh, on the, touching on the last point I wanted to make it's probably quite similar as in football you know you can have a great game everything's going well for you you make one mistake now everyone's on your back in terms of mm. like the crowd, DJing, mm. I, I don't know you. You know better than I do, but it's probably similar. You know, you can have a good night, everything's going well, and then maybe just <laughs> slip up on a couple, couple of rhythms and that, and then you know, <laughs> the crowd, the crowd is going a different way. I don't know how it is. Hundred, hundred percent. Um, yeah, you can literally it's like you know the saying, um, you can do it in a football pitch. You can do. You can play crap for the for eighty nine minutes, but that last minute you can come to life. It's it's similar to to the DJ, similar, but at the same time you can I can play good rhythms from let's say my set is from like three pm to ten pm. All right, I can play so well from three pm to nine, and that last hour it was bad. You know, like people remember me for that last hour and then the from three to nine. You know, so it's important to obviously finish off really, really good. Yeah, man. That's sick stuff, man. And you know, I commend you for what you're doing. Uh any parties when the lockdown's finished, shout me, you know. <laughs> I roll I roll through. For more content like this, like, share and subscribe. Mm -hmm.